Welcome to another episode of Med Madness, where we dive into critical medical topics to enhance your learning and clinical practice. Today we'll be discussing a vital issue, recognising medication non-adherence in asthma, particularly during pregnancy. This topic is crucial for medical students and professionals alike, as it impacts patient outcomes significantly. We'll explore the factors contributing to non-adherence, the consequences of discontinuing asthma medications during pregnancy, and how to effectively manage and support our patients. Next, let's discuss what this condition is. Asthma is a chronic respiratory condition characterized by airway inflammation and hyperreactivity, leading to episodic wheezing, shortness of breath, and coughing. In the context of pregnancy, asthma management becomes even more critical due to physiological changes and potential risks to both the mother and fetus. Common causes of asthma exacerbation during pregnancy include altered daily activities, increased stress, and anxiety. Additionally, hormonal changes can directly impact asthma control. Pathophysiologically, pregnancy-induced alterations can affect the respiratory system, potentially worsening asthma in about one-third of cases. Moving on to symptoms and clinical presentation. Asthma symptoms typically include episodic wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness and coughing. In pregnant patients, these symptoms can become more pronounced if asthma is not well controlled. Worsening symptoms after a period of stability often suggest non-adherence to prescribed controller medications. Pregnant patients might experience increased frequency and severity of asthma attacks, which can jeopardise both maternal and fetal health. Next, let's talk about diagnosis. Diagnosing asthma exacerbation during pregnancy involves a thorough clinical evaluation, including a detailed patient history and physical examination. Pulmonary function tests such as spirometry can help assess the severity of airway obstruction. In some cases, measuring fractional exhaled nitric oxide or pheno levels can provide additional insights into airway inflammation. It's also essential to evaluate medication adherence by discussing the patient's use of controller and rescue inhalers, focusing on when, how and how often they are used. Now let's move on to management and treatment. Effective asthma management during pregnancy involves a multifaceted approach. Ensuring adherence to prescribed medications such as inhaled corticosteroids and beta agonists is paramount. Educating patients about the safety of these medications during pregnancy can alleviate concerns about fetal harm. Lifestyle modifications such as avoiding known asthma triggers and maintaining a healthy diet and weight are also beneficial. Regular follow-up visits are crucial to monitor asthma control and adjust treatment as needed. In cases where medication non-adherence is identified, a non-judgmental inquiry into the patient's routine can help address barriers and improve compliance. Consider a case study. A 28-year-old pregnant patient with a history of well-controlled asthma presents with worsening symptoms, including frequent wheezing and shortness of breath. Upon reviewing her history, it is revealed that she stopped using her controller inhaler due to concerns about its safety during pregnancy. After providing reassurance about the safety of inhaled corticosteroids and educating her on the importance of asthma control for both her and her baby's health, the patient resumes her medication regimen. Subsequent follow-ups show significant improvement in her symptoms, highlighting the importance of medication adherence and patient education. In conclusion, recognising and addressing medication non-adherence in asthma during pregnancy is crucial for maintaining optimal health outcomes for both the mother and fetus. Early diagnosis and effective management supported by patient education and regular follow-ups are essential components of asthma care. We encourage you to engage with our pre- and post-podcast quizzes and Anki flashcards to reinforce your learning. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Med Madness. Stay tuned for more insightful discussions.